Hey guys, welcome. Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon, codename Wilma. I'm going to show you how to install some extra backgrounds that are, well, blast from the past. And uh, you, when you install Linux Mint 22, you normally only get Wilma and Linux Mint. So these are some buzzwords that if you have been a fan of Linux Mint for many years that you may recognize. This is the previous version, 21.3. I'll also talk about adding custom folders if you just want to display those only and you can actually remove this one also. They're shortcuts. So I'm going to show you how to add some of these uh, blast from the past and how to quickly uninstall them also as a tip. All right. And I'll also talk about um, slideshows. So uh, welcome folks filming in 1080. Please adjust your YouTube player accordingly. Again, Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon, codename Wilma. Subscription key is in the corner, 450 videos and growing. We are going to install some of these blasts from the past using the software manager and also removals. Right click, change background. So as I pointed out when I started, you only get two folders in here, Wilma and Mint. I'm going to add some extra ones. So uh, what I'm going to use for a keyword is backgrounds. And I'll probably highlight that and save that in the buffer for later as far as um, copy. But uh, let's say you wanted to add some uh, other ones. Uh, how about Olivia? That would be Linux Mint 15 backgrounds. And I'm not talking about the desktop. I'm talking about backgrounds install. So Olivia has, uh, or did, have a lot of backgrounds that you may or may not be interested in. And currently it's not being displayed. So what I'm gonna do is close that, leave the file manager open, right click on my screen, change desktop background, and let's see what Olivia looks like. You can also see the size of the images printed below it, for 2048 by 1365. I'm also gonna talk about the zoom feature because a lot of you folks run different screen resolutions. Some hints there. Olivia, I'll do one more. Um, let's find um, Sonia. Sonia is Linux Mint 18.2, some blast from the past. And install. All right, we need to close and reopen. Sonia, well, the list is growing. So more importantly, if you find that one of these categories that you're installing, you do not like, I'm going to close the software manager. And let's say you find that you don't like Petra for whatever reason. You went through it, didn't like it, you want to remove it because the list is getting long. Open up your software manager. I'm going to pull it to the side over here this time. And instead of doing a search, I'm going to do the hamburger menu. All right, show installed apps. We are looking for Petra. Petra is right here. It's rather easy to find these things if you have not a whole bunch of stuff installed. I'm gonna remove Petra. Still requires a password to do this with. And this installs just like an application. So to remove Petra, I'm gonna close and reopen Right-click, Desktop, and you notice that the screen is blank. That's because Petra was highlighted before I closed the screen. That's okay. We can just click through these. So Petra is no longer part of the list. So you can do that from Show Installed. You go to the main screen if you're wanting to search for another theme. And add that to the mix. And you can see there's quite a few of these, like Linux Mint 20 and others. All right, let's move along now. Now that you understand how to install these and deinstall these rather easily through your software manager. Let's talk a little bit about um, your slideshows. Now, a lot of you folks are watching videos on Linux Mint for the first time. I have uh, well over 450 videos on my YouTube site on all kinds of things. So play backgrounds as a slideshow. So what I'm gonna do is turn on all the defaults. 
All right, and the zoom in the solid color I'm going to talk about a little bit later. And then I'm going to turn this back off and back on again. So basically, whatever folder is highlighted in here is where it's going to start on picture number one. And you can also see the size of the frame. It's 2048 by 1365. Again, I'm filming in 1080. As I switch these over, it starts on image one on all of these subfolders. It's the first image because of the default setting. To have a little fun with this, we can also change the time frame to two minutes. We can also play this in random order. You just need to toggle this back on and off. All right, so currently we're in this folder here. We're going to go over to Sonia, and you can see that's not the first image. And these are semi grayed out because I can't click them. You can probably hear me clicking because this is activated. All right, so these basic three settings I'm going to just show first, and then I'll talk about the zoom and background when I get into some smaller image sizes, what those mean. All right, so in either case, I can just switch folders. And again, when I have this slide on, it's random with inside of the folder. So you can cycle through all these when you get tired, switch to a new one or turn it off and select a static image. All right, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about personal ones. I'm going to remove this folder completely and this one. So if you want your own personal photos, I'm going to talk about that now. I'm removing both of them. So your file manager, Nemo, has a lot of tips and tricks that I have on my YouTube site for a lot of things. So if I'm clicking on an image and I want to see a preview of it, doesn't matter the thumbnail size, I hit the space bar. I'll make these really small so you can't even see what they look like. I want to click that and hit the space bar. And click that and hit the space bar. So if you can't clearly see what your image is after you resized your thumbnail, you can always click on the image and just do one of these. All I'm doing is hitting the space bar to get a preview. If I double click, it opens it in a different tool called Xphere. Okay. So if you want to select your images that are in your pictures folder, but you don't want to display everything, you create a subcategory, right click, create new folder. So I have nine items in this folder and none in this test too. So test has images and I got some weird ones. Yes. Just giving you a perspective. So you bring in those photos of the kids, the friends, the pets, the whatever, or maybe even mix wallpaper off the internet, whatever your thing in, whatever you're into. And I'm going to use this as my guinea pig. So you can either copy these from here into that new folder or cut and paste. So the folder's name is test. Right clicking on the screen, change desktop. We're going to add test. Okay. So test contains these images that I placed in there personally. So these again could be pictures of your, your family, whatever it might be. These are in 1920 by 1080. You can see every frame size in here. This is the only one that's smaller than the current. Uh, I'm filming in 1920 by 1080 and so is my screen resolution. So this is less. 1600 by 1200 is less than that. So let's take a look at this image for a second and I'll move this box to the side. You can see the trees because generally this is set for zoom. If I hit stretched, it gets a different aspect. If I click on scaled, I'll move it to the center. Now you see a black bar on each side. That's where this is coming from. If you place a color, you can change the color. If you want a gradient, horizontal gradient, you get two boxes. I will click maybe red on this side and maybe we'll do um, yellow on the other. How about if we do a vertical gradient? It started out yellow and goes to red on both sides. If I reverse these, yellow here and red here, then it starts red to yellow. That's in scaled. Stretch, you don't see that. Zoom, you don't see that. Spanned, you do. 
So we have different ways to view our images on our screens, also depending on your screen resolution. Okay, zoom, solid, black is standard. If you are using scaled and you don't like the black borders, then pick a different color, including white. That's all I'm going to say on that one. But going back to here, your personal folder, you can do static images. Now you can see they're filling in and I started with this one. I just thought it was appropriate for the season. It's fall. Today's date is September 24, 2024. And more importantly, I can do static images or I can play this as a slideshow. And you noticed I removed the general pictures folder. So now I'm gonna remove this one and add the other one back. So you don't have to worry about that. You can always add these back later or not remove them at all, depending. Showed you how to do this. I showed you how to add personal folders. And again, use your file manager to add and remove these things. Thank you for watching.